game number five, and that's where we find ourselves tonight for this playoff series. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Cebulski. Welcome. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Sends the pass over. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Steps into the offensive end. Penalty coming up. Whistle stops the play. You can defend, but you've got to let the opponent skate. And as soon as you don't, you're in danger of interference getting called. Dreisaitl's looking to use his zone ability to generate some scoring here, guys. The power play is a great opportunity for him to use his skills to his team's advantage. The Oilers win the draw. Here's a shot, and that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Dreisaitl. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Handles the puck from the left side. Centering feed. Oh, and they can't connect on the pass because it was broken up in front. Florida's moving it along the wing. Blacks it into the offensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Hyman. Dreisaitl's working it around in the corner. Florida's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Gets it out of his own end. The Panthers PK unit delivers on that. Really aggressive work by the penalty killers. They shut that power play down without any danger. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Barkov's got it against the boards. Puck picked up by Nugent Hopkins. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Gains the zone from the right side. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Florida's ready to go on the attack. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Edmonton's moving it up the ice. And now it's grabbed by Janmark. Blocked away by Bobrovsky. It's a really good save. In tight, he shuts down the area where the puck can go by getting out onto the puck. And there's nowhere for the shooter to put it. Taken along the wall by McLeod. Whoa, you don't see that often. No, I, I gotta call this a shank. I mean, if this is on the golf course, that thing's out of bounds in two seconds. That's kind of how you play, right? Wrong. Florida's got the puck along the boards. Montour stick handling in his own zone. Point to point pass. And the goaltender manages to get a pad on that one. Here we go. from the left. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Fires it! Oh, what a stop on the play! Scooped up along the wall by Shore. There he is from the slot! Well, how about a bounce? Would you seriously, James, call the goal sooner or later? This game doesn't have one, and that one goes off the goalpost. The Panthers play it along the wing. The Oilers take possession in the defensive end. And he takes the feed. Shot! Turned aside with a glove by Skinner. Sent into the offensive zone. Puck said down the ice. We'll get an icing. 
Montour's not got anything done recently offensively, and you know it's starting to eat away at him. Here in the back half of this period, still no score in this one. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Possession earned on the draw, James. We'll see if they can set something up. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Kane. Intercepted. Quick cross ice pass to Kane. Drives to the sweet spot. Stick save and a beaut by Skinner. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Puts it towards the net, and that was stopped. Picking up some steam at center ice. Fires it on net, and that goes off a of body. And now it's over to McDavid. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Takes it across the blue line. Moves inside, and that doesn't reach the net. Grabbed along the board by Duclair. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Yamamoto. Whoa! Scores! The captain comes through! Edmonton's mindset has to be through the roof if they can maintain this to the end of the first. It doesn't have to be perfect, but what it is now is you've got a little bit of breathing room with a one-goal lead. The Panthers get a hold of the puck off the draw. Manages to hang on. To the front! It work. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Edmonton's got possession here in the offensive zone. Bobrovsky's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Oh, you got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. McDavid's known to blow past defenders with speed, which is his wheel zone ability. Barkov's yoink zone ability is when he picks his opponent's pockets to switch from defense to offense. I'll be watching these two players to see if one of them can really shine for their team tonight. Guys, back to you. That concludes period number one. I cannot believe they got one of the all-time great 90s hip-hop acts getting set to play for the fans here in this intermission. I can't wait for this. We'll come back at period number two in just a bit. Fans back in their seats. Teams are on the ice. They're ready to drop the puck here for period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? Florida's puck work in the first period was kind of like scrambled eggs. It was all over the place. Now they're going to tighten that up a little bit. If they can, they'll have a chance to get back in this game. Lewis Dorian's got the puck. From the slot, fires away. Quick pass across to Kane. into the paint and just gets a piece of that one to keep it out. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. From the slot, wrist shot. There's back-to-back -back saves. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. Sends a pass over. The Oilers will play the puck from behind the net. Now he slides it up to McDavid. Unable to reach that one. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Edmonton's ahead, 1-0. The Panthers take possession off the faceoff. Quick shot, turns it aside. Can't make the connection on the pass. Here in the second. They've worked hard to get this game back to level. The Oilers win it. Here's a short pass to Bouchard. Takes a shot. Oh, what a chance it misses. You get yourself into position. You might only get one of those a night, James. You better get it on the net. That's a really missed opportunity. Somebody to make a play. Who's going to step up? There it is. They've got 
with the lead. The Oilers win the faceoff. Edmonton's got it against the boards. Moves it to Verhage. The Oilers have it in the offensive zone. Great save! From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Moves it quickly over to Ackholm. Picked up along the wall by Nugent Hopkins. From center, they get into the attacking area. Here's a shot! In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Florida's got a one-goal lead. Edmonton's got it, and they're on the attack. Stops him cold! Bobrovsky's gonna opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around if the shift gets long. This helps. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. The Oilers will go to work here in the offensive zone. The Panthers look to start the transition game. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by McLeod. Muffs the shot attempt. Works it across to McLeod. Here we go, two on one. Can't connect from point blank. You're not going to get many chances like that anymore tonight. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. That's not really a great penalty to take, but the penalty killers feel they can be up for the challenge. They're pretty enthusiastic going over the boards. Kachuk's team has the advantage here with the power play, and it's an opportunity for him to use his zone ability and maybe even help the team light the lamp. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Edmonton's got possession at center. Break away! And the save! Bogrovsky's been terrific tonight. I mean, I don't know what more they could ask for him in goal. He has been excellent under deluge at times. But his team's in the game because he's been so good. Nugent Hopkins gets set for the face-off here as they will continue to play shorthanded. Edmonton's won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice. Quick feed to Fogel. Stones him in front. Feeds the puck to Kachuk. Nice zone entry on the left side. The Oilers will kill off a few extra seconds now. Flies it over to Fogel. The Panthers have it from their own end. Florida's looking to break out. The crowd's done with the break here. Now they want this power play to reorganize to get sharp and get into the offensive zone. Put it loud in here and it's not a good thing. Goes right to the crease. Scores and we are tied. Well, they've been pushing for this tie goal, James, and finally the to break through here. Now the game's tied. You can erase whatever's happened before and look for the next one. Two parts to this, James. He gets himself into the low slot in good position, and then he zips a backhander past the tender. Well past the midway mark of this period. We are all tied up in this one. The Oilers win possession here in the open ice. And there's the whistle icing the call. Yeah. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. They go on the attack through center. The Oilers cross the line and gain the zone. It's one thing to go fast, it's another when you've got the puck on your stick. It does not slow him down, and he gets right in tight for a chance on goal. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Sends it ahead to Kane. Hits an on-man rush, two on one. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. Bobrovsky's, and we've got a fight. Oh, and he 
hammers him and sends him down to the ice. That's a clear decision there. That bout was an old-fashioned punch-in-the-face contest, and I don't think the home side liked the results very much. And after that tilt, looks like cooler heads have finally prevailed, and we're ready to drop the puck once again. Airmailed on his part. Well, he gets into position here, and you know he's trying to stick this under the bar. He almost shot it out of the rake, though. Bobrovsky's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James, he needed a cover there. Late going so this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Shores won the draw. Great save by the goaltender who was in the right place at the right time. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Edmonton's got possession of the puck. The Oilers are in transition. Cutting to the slot. Quick pass to Bouchard. Way too high. Oh, the goalie's not going to have to do much with that unless they dive way out of the net. That thing's way wide of the cage. And now he tries to get it across to shore. Quick shot. Gets a skate on that one to deny them. Mahor is lugging the puck. Here's a short pass to Kachuk. There's the whistle, offside is the call. The centermen glide into position. Florida's won it. The Panthers move to the offensive zone. The Oilers gain possession. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. The Oilers will play it against the boards. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Oh, brings it off the outside of the iron. Thought he had the corner, but clearly not. And there's the horn. Two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. Time for the opening face -up. Here in period number three, James Sabalski and Ray Ferraro set to call the action for you. It has been a fantastic matchup here, back and forth at both ends of the ice. Let's see what happens at the third. And that's off target as it hits a body. Florida's gained possession along the boards. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Moves it to CeCe. has been non-existent tonight. There's not many times you can say his team's in a decent spot and he doesn't have any goals. Takes it into the slot and it banks off a stick in traffic. Moves it quickly over to Musta Ryan. The Panthers gain the zone. Here's a chance. Skinner's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Moves the puck up to Nugent Hopkins. Drives to the paint. Quick shot. Oh, what a save by Bobrovsky. Slot shot from the point. Bobrovsky's got the puck. Boy, he's been under fire tonight. Been really sharp and in a close game. Can't make a mistake that costs a critical goal. More than half the period left to play. It's all tied up. Edmonton's won the draw. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Bouchard's got it in the defensive end. Puck scooped up by Ekholm. Quick feed to Yamamoto. And a strong physical collision on the play there. Puck grabbed by Montour. 
The Panthers have it now. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Stopped by the goaltender. Quick pass to Nugent Hopkins. Takes it to the front. Makes the save with the chopper. Wrists one. Denies him again. That's a really good save. I think the goalie's probably surprised he was dead center and open to shoot that puck. Slides the puck across to McLeod. Nice feed. Here's a short pass to Fogel. Oh, a clutch save! Moves it on over to Verhage. Takes the shot. Makes the glove stop. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Here's a pass in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. And now he angles it across to McLeod. Been a couple times tonight, James. I thought this game was going to stretch out, but it's snug. And it's not going anywhere. This is how this league has become with the parody in. Stars! And look at that! The go ahead goal puts them in front. They never gave up on this, James. I mean, when the game's tied, there was a few moments it looks like it's slipping away. They kept grinding at the game. Stay at it. Eventually, they get the chance, and they make the play that puts them ahead. The Oilers have gone ahead here in this third period. You see the finish line, Ray. What's the strategy now? Well, I don't think it's just to defend. I think you put your work boots on and try and grind the game down in their end of the ice. Florida's won the draw. Knocked away with the stick by Ryan. It's a 2 on 0 Scores! Wow, what a goal! Nice hands, great finish. Little short break, and it's in the net. Once you escape the pack, it's now one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. He's trying to read you, you're trying to read him. The shooter wins this time. The Oilers extend their lead here in the home stretch of this one, Ray. You'd like to think that you're in great shape here, but one mistake makes this a one-goal game again. They still have to stay aggressive. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Here's an offensive chance. Edmonton's got the puck. Across the line from center. Makes the save as he got a blocker on it. Ryan's able to get the shot on goal. Now he's using his hands for good, not for evil like in the fight. Scooped up along the wall by Shore. Moves the puck. Kulak's taking it from his own end. Takes the puck behind his own cage. Trying to get out of the defensive end. Dumps it in. Picked up along the boards by Kane. He scores! That's four straight on fire! They are so hot right now. Every pass, every shot is right in the perfect place. Oh, it just trickles over the goal line. The goaltender stopped most of it, just not all of it. Edmonton's lamp lighting performance continues here with another goal in the third. They can walk home. They have dominated this third period. They've stretched the lead out into a really comfortable margin. Florida's got a hold of it against the wall. Through center. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Taken by Kane. Gives him a tap with a stick and the referees don't like it. Here comes the official's call. You're almost at the point where the clock can't move fast enough. Down by a bunch and now shorthanded. The Oilers send their man advantage unit out once more. You can always tell when the power play hasn't had many chances. Those guys are hungry. They get over the boards in a hurry. Edmonton got it in the offensive zone. Too much traffic in the lane. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Hyman. One-on-one -on -one with the goaltender! Oh, he didn't have enough gas to get the shot off. Really good work by the defender to close the gap. Gets the puck in deep. Grabbed along the board by Dreisaitl. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. The 
Oilers gain control of the puck. Puck picked up by Yamamoto. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Played big in the moment there. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. The Oilers don't have time on their side with this power play running out. Sends it into the offensive zone. Well, the power play melts away. They don't get anything on it. I don't think it's particularly important because they've got such a nice lead here. They just want to run the clock out. Getting into the later stages of this period, Edmonton's got a 5-2 lead. Here's a shot! Turns it aside with the glove. And he elects to play the puck. Under a minute to go in the third. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Florida's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Feeds it on over to Barkov. Edmonton's got the puck. Pass broken up. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. The Panthers gain possession in their own end. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Bouchard. Hangs onto the puck. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. And that shot gets caught in traffic. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Up the neutral zone now. The Panthers get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Driving right to the front. And he gets in the lane to block that. And he takes the dish. Takes the pass from his goaltender. Final buzzer sounds, and this one's in the book. 